You'll see many classic marks at the Benjafields Racing Club, but 1920s Bentleys are at its heart. Members preserve the spirit of that era by adopting the hard racing and fun-loving lifestyle of the men that raced them. Those Bentley boys ruled the racetracks throughout the 1920s and 30s. In their honour, members compete in vintage races and rallies all over the world. Well, the club was formed uh, by me and a group of others back in 1990 to uh, really bring back the ethos of pre-war motor racing in its purest form. It's named after Dr. Dudley Benjafield, who won the Le Mans 24-hour race in 1927. It's a great club, and we do a lot of unusual things. We go all over the world racing and rallying these cars. It's a completely mad bunch. <laughs> None of the members were quite prepared for the club's most recent event on a farm estate in Norfolk. An adventurous day's activities included time tests through the farm and its buildings before heading out into the fields for some stubble racing. I know very little about stubble racing, but then I don't think many people know much about stubble racing. It's a bit of a, an unknown, and that's what was part of the appeal, I think, for this event. Benjafields Club has a reputation for doing things that are a bit different. Well, it started in Norfolk uh, around the early 1900s, as a matter of fact, and it's one of the earliest forms of local motorsport. And, of course, as soon as the car was up and running and people were realising they could have a lot of fun with them, they said, well, let's use the land here that's nice and flat and relatively safe and well-drained and start competing one farmer against another. And they competed with their cars and stopped gathering the crops, so we all starved, but we've had very fast cars by the end of it. <laughs> the lovely thing is it's up for them. They can go hell for leather and they can really push the cars to the limit um, if they want to, or equally they can, they can take and leave it as they choose. So um, everyone's gonna go to their comfort zone and the, certainly the guys at the back will be really hammering it out. I think the, on the speedo, you're doing an 85 mile an hour on the stubble. You know, you're really moving at the end of it. Even the rarest cars were being thrashed around. Lunchtime Entertainment included a demonstration of a Pacey Hassan special, the epitome of that powerful breed of Bentleys that dominated races at Brooklands. The idea is we want to show that these cars are capable of being used on the highway safely and on the racetracks and in this form of competition. It's a, a great advert for the club and for the cars and for Mr Bentley, of course. They were all built by engineers to achieve a goal, and that goal was to be to be thrashed. People love concourses, etc., which is which is marvellous as long as people enjoy cars. Um, but as I always say, the, the best way to see a car is sideways coming through a chicane. The afternoon activities included more surprises. Members used their navigational skills to find their way to the next location, where they would be put to the test again in a maze within a maze field and it proved a tricky challenge for some. Oh, great fun. But I've never done a rally before, and now I know why. Brilliant, absolutely yeah. wonderful. It's a very unique occasion today. Best way to spend a Saturday. <laughs> As founder of the British Racing Drivers Club, Dudley Benjafield was at the root of the racing establishment. He raced hard, lived hard, and would have loved the Benjafields Racing Club stubble racing event. It's in memory of Dudley Benjafield, you know, who, who was a, a great stalwart and a great example to everybody. And so that's why, why we do it, you know, it's, it's to remember how it was in the past and to keep that tradition flowing and, um, and just to have fun. You know, you've got a huge amount of value of cars here today, and that's just irrelevant. It's about having fun with these cars and letting them do what they were built for, and I think Mr Bentley will be proud of what's going on. Yeah.